today's video we will look into the basic bony anatomy of the paranasal sinuses this will give us an idea of how the disease gives rise to a, a particular sign or symptom and of course plan for the surgery using the anatomy app we can see all the sinuses and also the boundaries what you can see over here is the nasal cavity okay that's the floor of the nasal cavity and that's the inferior turbinate this is the first pass and ideally speaking whenever we do an endoscopic examination in outpatients and also under anesthesia this is the space we would like to go in first this bit is the middle turbinate and obviously this will be the middle meatus that's our second pass and then the small projection if you can see over here that's the superior turbinate so as you can see that as we go higher the bone thickness decreases the inferior turbinate is the strongest of all that's the septum that you can see now when the inferior turbinate increases in size it will occupy a lot of space and actually even if the septum is in midline the patient will have nose block now looking into the sinuses the first and most common basic sinus we all know is maxillary sinus quite a big sinus to be honest and what this app actually allows us to understand the floor look at the floor you can see the teeth projecting inside and that's why whenever anyone has any dental caries or a poor dental extraction they can form an oroantral fistula one more reason why our ct scan should involve this floor of the maxillary sinus it allows us to understand the pathology the roof of the maxillary sinus is formed by the orbit here you will have the osteomatal complex we will go in details in further videos the next sinus which you see is the ethmoid sinus that's the ethmoid sinus which is very close to the skull base and the eye and hence we have to be very careful again whenever you are requesting a scan to your radiologist make sure at least this much part of the brain is involved and this much part of the maxilla uh, is involved behind the ethmoid sinus you'll see the sphenoid you can't see in this scan but uh, or sorry this image but you can definitely see the skull base part so any lesion increasing in size in the maxillary sinus they can come out in the nasal cavity cause nose block or bleeding if they are compressing anterior to the sinus they can they can cause swelling and uh, facial numbness if they are going upwards obviously you will have eye symptoms similarly ethmoid sinus when they occupy over here the first and foremost that they will complain is uh, anosmia or hyposmia because the olfactory fibers are over here and this lesion will occupy the upper area where this area is, we need to be free so that we can appreciate the sense of smell we'll see in further scans and further videos how other sinuses appear to be thank you